Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today I am going to be doing a what I bought for my new apartment haul. That was wordy. <laughs> if you guys didn't already know, I have actually moved into a brand new apartment. It's on the top floor of an old Victorian home. I'm kind of obsessed with it. And in the new year, I am going to be launching a series where I decorate this space room to room. But I thought today I would give you guys a sneak peek and show you some of the bits and pieces that I've collected for this new space. And when I actually start decorating it, you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that from that haul. I hope this gives you some inspiration for your own decor at home. I really can't wait to actually like put this in the space and make this space feel fun and cozy. I've been living here for over a month and I'm like, I want to decorate so bad. But we have to wait because we're actually getting our shower um, redone. And if you guys could see the state of this apartment. So once that's all done, we are going to start filming this series and making this apartment feel truly like my own. And I'm so excited and I can't wait. It's gonna be great. So if you guys do hear a little bit of noise in the background, it's because things are getting, walls are getting torn down. It's like demolition city. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. So a couple months ago, I actually discovered is it Urban Behavior? Yes, so Urban Behavior is this kind of like weird clothing store in Canada. I'm not sure if they have it in the States. You buy like onesies and like fuzzy socks. Like it's just one of those stores you go in and you're like, where am I? Why do I need a zebra onesie? Turns out they actually have a home decor line, Carla's face, I know, my reaction too. And they actually have some like really, really nice stuff. So I picked up a few things, including this gold decorative basket. And I've actually been using this in our bathroom to hold like my hair dryer and my hair tools because it's metal. So when my hair straightener is hot, I just like plop it in here. I feel like you could also use this as a plant pot, like so many uses. And it was 10 bucks, 10 bucks, pretty good. It's cute, right? So the next thing I got from there for $25, is this really cool like eye mirror. I saw these all over Marrakesh. They're like very trendy right now. Urban Outfitters has them. And for $25, I was like, you can't go wrong. And I think I'm gonna hang this in the entry, which is this wall right behind me. I love mirrors in this space because they just like open up the space, the light bounces off of them, and you can never go wrong with a decorative mirror. This is from HomeSense. It was $20. It's this beautiful hanging planter. In our bathroom, we have a window that faces a brick wall. So it's not the most like gorgeous view there ever was. And I don't really wanna put a curtain, I don't really wanna put a blind, um, because we don't need one, cause like there's no one on the other side. So I thought this beautiful hanging planter would fill the window so nicely, and I wanna get some sort of air plant or like maybe some sort of hanging plant. It's just so visually interesting. Some of the stuff in this haul was gifted to me. This was gifted by HomeSense. Anything that was gifted by a brand will be um, starred down below just so you can know what I bought and what was gifted to me. Even if a brand gifts something to me, I still pick it myself. It doesn't influence my opinion of the product and I'm so grateful to these brands for supporting my decorating habits because I'd be broke if I had to buy this stuff all myself. It's a problem. It's, ba it's bad, it's a problem. So the next thing I picked up at HomeSense was this gorgeous mint green kettle. Kettles are important to me because I drink tea a lot. I'm British, it's like in my blood. So I was on the hunt for something that was gonna look really great in our all white kitchen. And I thought a pop of color would be really nice. So it has this mint green base and these like wood handles. They have so many different kettles and like coffee makers and Bodums and all that stuff at home sense. So it was hard to pick, but I'm really happy with this. It's a really pretty, it's a really pretty color. The next item is also from Home Sense, and it's kind of a funny one, but it's a toilet brush. And I actually used one of these in the bathroom uh, makeover I did a few months ago. I just think it's like little things like this that make little things like this make me so happy because they're those things that you use that are like typically not the cutest things ever to have on display. But like this one is adorable and our bathroom is small and it's all open. There's no hidden um, like cupboards or cabinets. When I do my series, you guys will see it. It needs a lot of, it needs a lot of love, especially now because there's no shower. 
basically everything that we put in that bathroom has to count and has to look beautiful because it's all on display. So I thought something really simple like this, I think this was like $7, is just a great way to bring some beauty into your bathroom. This is also for the bathroom. I saw this in HomeSense and I was like, I can't leave without a pom-pom towel. So it's just like a little hand towel. It has these gray little pom-poms on the end. So adorable. I actually can't wait to do this bathroom uh, redo because like I said, it needs a lot of love and I'm really excited to change like all the accessories in the bathroom when it's done. And like, how cute. I think this was also like $7, really inexpensive. I actually found this beautiful set of cutlery on Amazon randomly. So they're gold and they have these like pink details. Look at the little teaspoon. Like how cute. And I really love how long this part of it is, the handle. Like it just, it's just really satisfying to eat with. These were like $18 or something ridiculous. Curious to see how they're gonna hold up being washed all the time. I'm not sure if the paint is gonna scrape off, but I'll keep you guys posted. I just think they're like the cutest little things. I also just ordered plates and um, bowls. We've been eating off of like dessert plates for the last month because I just haven't been able to make a decision on dishware. But I have and I'm so excited to show you guys. I don't have them, they're being shipped right now, but they're gonna match really nicely with this beautiful cutlery. I also already have just some plain gold cutlery. I think mixed in with these will look well, look great. The next item I got was actually um, also from Urban Behavior. It's this beautiful little ring holder. That was so cute. It was like $5. Like the things you find in Urban Behavior, apparently. Just to like stack your rings. So cute, right? So my goal for this apartment and especially this living room is to just make it feel so cozy and so, so warm. We have this amazing deck right off the living room. It lets in so much sun. It just is like the most, I don't know, it just feels so warm and cozy in here already. So I think like tons of candles Candles, tons of essential oils diffusing is just gonna make it feel like warm and special and lovely. So I wanted to pick up um, a couple decorative candles. So I got this one from HomeSense and it smells like jasmine. It's like a really like fresh, kind of florally scent. And I just loved the canister. And I love candles like this because once they've burned all the way down, you can use this you know, for anything, to put like makeup brushes or a plant even. So that's why I picked up this one because yeah, I definitely wanna reuse it probably as a plant pot afterwards. I'm just gonna have like tons of candles everywhere and it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. I think this was like $12. HomeSense has so many candles, it's ridiculous, so yeah. The next two items were actually a gift from Danny, who is my co-host on Buyer DIY. She got me a couple things for my birthday and like, can we just, can we just take a minute? How cute is this? Another thing I wanna implement in this living room are tons of plants. And so I thought this would be such a great little basket to house a floor plant. I love how it has these like pink little tassels on it. So adorable, she knows me well. And her mom actually made this beautiful macrame um, hanging planter, which I think is so gorgeous. I love this like wood detailing at the top. Basically you put a plant pot in the bottom of it and the macrame just like holds it. And I think it's just gonna look beautiful with like a gorgeous full green hanging plant. Yeah, I love the wood detailing. How cute is that? The next item is like, pretty massive and actually kind of a backstory. So my cats, Harry and Marty, they haven't moved in yet. Because this space is so small, I had to get creative with a cat litter solution. I did a home primp a while back where I actually transformed um, a credenza into a cat litter box. I'm gonna link that video because it's a really great hack if you live in an open space. Sorry, my nose itches. It's a really great hack if you live in a small open space and you just don't have a place to put a litter box. I have like been heavily debating where I'm gonna put a litter box. I've like thought maybe I'd do the credenza, but then I came across this beautiful, beautiful litter box. So this is it. It's um, from a French company, but I found it through a retailer who is Canadian. I think he ships internationally, but he has like 
amazingly beautiful pet supplies, like insane. Beautiful decorative bowls for your cats, cushions, and then these beautiful litter boxes. They've actually won awards because they're designed in this really special way where the cat walks out and it gets rid of the like litter on its paws. And it comes in so many different colors. I just went with white because I wanted it to kind of blend in with the space. It's kind of like an interesting focal point. It doesn't look like your typical cat litter box. It's like, it looks like an igloo for cats. I encourage you guys to go check out um, the store because it's it's beautiful. The link is below. Also from Urban Behavior, I bought these um, hangers. I mean, they obviously came in packs, but these gold and these really cute mint green ones. And the goal of this apartment for me is really to make sure that all those little details are like so cute. That includes hangers. I really think that when you have, you know, those everyday things that just look nice, it just makes everything else feel more special. I actually went to Alyssa Garrison's apartment. She's at Random Acts of Pastel. I've talked about her a lot on this channel and I was so inspired by her home because every corner every like nook and cranny of her space was just beautiful. And so when I saw these hangers, I'm like, yeah, I deserve mint green and gold hangers for my clothes. It just makes those things feel like extra special and really beautiful. So I really, really like these. So the last thing I bought was actually also from Amazon. It's this really cool um, pot scrubber. I don't know if you can see inside, but it comes with this there's water in it because I've used it. It comes with this little spring and so you fill it with dish soap and water and then you use your little pot scrubber and it like presses down so you get all the suds. I'm not a huge fan of sponges. I think they just get like really grungy, really gross, really quickly. They also don't look that nice, but this looks beautiful on display. It's stone. It just feels more clean to me and more hygienic. And then after you're done, you clean this out, you clean the little pot scrubber. Everything just stays really neat and tidy. I think this is genius. It was like $15 from Amazon. I'll link it down below and it's by the brand Full Circle. And you can actually replace these brushes. So you buy this this stone container once and then you just replace the brushes when you need to but these last a lot longer than sponges like a lot longer Ikea very kindly gifted me a couple of pieces for this apartment the first one is this amazing media unit now I was looking for a media unit that also doubled as a bookshelf because I have a lot of coffee table books. I have a lot of pieces of decor that I want on display. And so when I was thinking about a media unit, I'm like, it has to do more than one thing. And this is the answer. So it has storage on the bottom. So I filled it with these decorative boxes to put like cords, DVDs, like video games, all those things that I just do not want on display. I've put in these boxes. And then along the sides, I've put my beautiful coffee table books and I've propped the top with candles and it just looks really great and is like a focal point of this room but is also functional because it holds all of our media necessities. The next thing from Ikea is this beautiful floor mirror. I love it in this corner of our bedroom. The greatest thing about this piece is that it's also really functional. So along the back, it has a bar where you can hang your outfits for the next day. I've used it to hold my tote bags. I just love it because it takes up not a ton of space and also is like an extra bit of storage for our bedroom, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching this haul video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite piece from this haul was. Also let me know if you are excited for my series where I make over the space room to room. I am excited. I will keep you guys posted on when that is launching. It should be somewhere in the new year. Thank you guys so much as always for watching my videos, for liking, for subscribing, for commenting, and I will see you guys next Friday. See you next time.